This is the future. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigval Green here and welcome to another video. So in just a moment I'll tweet the gameplay reveal that we already took a look at about Wonder Woman and in the replies of that tweet we found uh, some other uh, photo posted by one of the followers of the page. I don't know, I don't know where this is from but it sounds legit. So it's gonna say early access for the uh, classic Wonder Woman will be available exclusively through the new limited time only Wonder Pass. The first season of the new Injustice Pass beta feature, the Wonder Pass will offer three options, free, premium and premium. Premium Plus. The Premium Premium Plus Pass rewards will include a one uh, star classic Wonder Woman that can be upgraded to three stars through gameplay. All players can earn rewards like gems, orbs, credits by completing tiers of the objectives each week. As more objectives are completed, players will progress to the next tier of rewards. Get a sneak peek of uh, Wonder Woman in action, new in just a mobile Facebook page, stay tuned for it. Yeah, that's the last, the last row over there is relevant. So they are introducing a battle pass into the game. So first up, for those of you who don't know what a battle pass is, I'm going to go briefly into explaining what it is. Okay, so we're currently in Marvel Revolution, so I think this is the best place I can actually explain what a battle pass is going to be. So it's going to be a thing that is going to happen more or less monthly, where you can pretty much buy a paid subscription to the game and you're going to get some rewards through some quests. We have here the first line and they said there will be in Ingest 2 Mobile a free-to-play line also. So you're going to get over here some daily objectives and season objectives over here at the very least where you're going to complete those and completing those is going to add some XP into this leveling it up. As you would level up a character, you complete some quests from here and here and you're going to get some levels here. The more levels you get, the more rewards you're going to unlock. Now this is going to have like two lines over here. The first line is going to be free to play and you're going to get those rewards regardless of if you buy this or do not buy this. And they said uh, in Injustice 2 Mobile that uh, there's also going to be a free-to-play line. And then there is the Premium Pass line, which you're going to be able to unlock by buying this. And uh, for example, over here, a Season Pass is going to be 10 bucks, which is not a terrible price, I guess. Again, I'm kind of a noob when it comes to Marvel Future Revolution. I'm not really playing it that much, so I don't actually know if this is worth the money or not. But it most likely is. And you're going to be able to buy that and to go uh, all the way uh, to here. The progression is going to happen pretty much the same way, I think. Or maybe you're going to progress slightly faster if you got the premium pass. And you're going to get both the free-to-play and you'll unlock the premium line rewards. And you're going to get both of them as you go. Now, they said it's going to have like three tiers in just to mobile, like the extra premium tier or something i don't know if there's gonna be like three tiers of rewards and you're going to unlock the last one uh, and claim all three of them if you got the extra premium pass or however they called it or if there's gonna be smoother progression for the um, extra premium pass so there could be a thing that you could pay like more and this has been also in other games or you could actually pay extra for the premium pass so that it gives you a huge boost in terms of progression and you're going to end up like let's say all the way to level 15 uh, like halfway through or you're going to get uh, far more XP from the daily objectives and I think that's the best way to put a third tier if they want to put a third tier and I'm fine with that as long as for the first line and second line you're going to be able to finish it granted you do like 95% uh, of the quests that you're going to get they also said weekly quests, so uh, here you're going to get dailies as well, and with every single pass like this, I also saw dailies. So it's either they worded it badly, so you're gonna have daily and weekly objectives, or it's gonna be only weekly objectives, but your daily objectives are going to also contribute towards it. That pretty much remains to be seen. And overall, they said you're going to get some gems, some credits, some orbs. Now it really depends. The credits, I really don't think they can put any amount over there for it to be worth it. Because in general, when it comes to giving out credits, they have no idea how, how many credits are actually required and what is the value of credits. Because, for example, you are going to need, on average, 2 million credits to get the desired epic talents. So if you're going to get like 500k credits from the entire free pass, that's going to be relevant. When it comes to gems, again, we have to wait and see... Uh, how big the values are, but since it's going to be a monthly thing, if it goes all the way to, let's say, 2,000 gems, 
it's gonna be a decent amount and it's most likely gonna be quests that you're going to do anyway by playing the game. I don't think they will make you go out of your way to do those quests, it will simply be an incentive to play the game more. So um, that's yet again might be a good thing. When it comes to the premium pass, again, we have to wait and see what the specific rewards are going to be and what the specific prices are going to be. And uh, as far as they said, they're going to give early access to Wonder Woman for this month's pass. And you're going to get her at one star and upgrade her all the way to three stars through gameplay. I don't know what true gameplay means. Maybe you're going to... Uh, have to play her and you're going to unlock more shards for her through achievements for leveling her up and stuff or maybe you're going to um, unlock more and more shards for her as you play and unlock more tiers of the pass and they just said early access so she's going to most likely come in an arena season or a challenger at the very least a chest eventually so don't worry about that one Overall, the premium passes are a pretty good way to monetize the game and a pretty fair way because it's a win-win scenario. The free-to-play players are going to get something in addition, they are going to get access to some rewards that they did not previously. Even if it's going to be garbage rewards because as I said it's most likely things that you're going to be doing anyway that are going to be in daily quests, you're going to just have something in addition. So there's nothing wrong with that. And when it comes to the premium pass, if the rewards are worth it, this might be a pretty good way for some people to get a better value out of supporting the game, because this game is not really the best thing for pay-to-play players either. Now when it comes to the premium pass, I really hope they flat out give you specific rewards and are not like, oh, you're going to get a random artifact with a 0.2 chance for it to be a solid artifact and most likely it will be an Azure artifact. I really hope they don't go that route, but that's definitely a possibility, but we only have to wait and see about that one. And there is one more route that they could go for, but I highly doubt they will. So in Call of Duty Mobile, there's also a season pass that will uh, give you some skins for that game, it's irrelevant, it works in exactly the same way as this. But the thing is, uh, in uh, Call of Duty you're going to not buy it straight up with money, but with the premium currency that is in that game. And the pass is made in a way that in theory you only have to buy it once. If you have to buy it more than once, it's gonna be your fault. Because in Call of Duty Mobile, you're going to buy it once with the premium currency, and if you buy it, by the time you reach all the way to the last year, you're going to have gotten all your premium currency back so you can buy it the next month. And the only way where you would need to to buy a uh, battle pass in Call of Duty Mobile more than once is if you're stupid and unlock it but can't finish it in that specific season because it's not even gonna unlock by itself it's your choice if you're going to unlock it earlier and you're going to progress anyway I highly doubt there's gonna be uh, any feature like that in Injustice Mobile but there's something to note there, it would be great if there would be a feature that if you complete this entire thing you're going to get the one in the next month for free but yet again I highly doubt that will be the case. But yeah that's about uh, all I can tell from what we have uh, heard so far and so we can only wait and see what they're going to um, uh, specifically introduce. With that being said this was everything for this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye! This is the future.